Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. We have an absolute treat for you today, a custom Death Watch kill team. Uh, really cool color scheme uh, that we've had the pleasure of completing for our client. Now, if you're new to our YouTube channel uh, and you're not familiar with what Siege is as a business, Siege Studios is a complete service commission miniature painting company. Uh, we're based in the UK, have a large team of 28 painters that all paint to an above tabletop level all the way up to competition entry level. Um, that's what we do as a business. Um, if you want to check out our galleries, we have loads of different images of all the different levels and things that we do as a business. Uh, if you are interested in a quote, then all you need to do very simply is head to our website, which is linked in the description of this video, head to the contact form that's found on that website, and whilst you're on there, select the relevant drop down options for your project and also include a message with a model list in our format that's shown and demonstrated on the website. Let's dive in and have a look at these awesome models in more detail. See you guys back in a second. So without further ado, let's have a look at this awesome custom Death Watch squad in a lot more detail. Uh, I know Simon, who's the artist who works on the project, had a lot of fun working with it and incorporating the custom armor scheme with the Death Watch heraldry, obviously the silver arms and all the little details and bits and bobs, just so they all complement each other and the scheme works overall. Uh, we'll start putting them forward so you can have a look. We've got the first chap here with the Inferno's Heavy Bolter. Obviously you've got the Heavy, the, the heavy Flamer and also the Heavy Bolter combined. Uh, but a really cool weapon. All the little blips and dials and things are all painted. The little lenses on the back. I love the little target art on the back of the backpack I think it's a really cool little thing you got the uh, even the little gems or the power symbols on the inside of the backpack are all painted there just at the back as you can see if I get that to focus for you guys uh, all the uh, lenses with point of light source and blending on the lenses as well which is really nice the little pouches gubbins and extra details are all fully highlighted as well which is really cool and the little gems and power symbols on the backpack are there as you can see just painted as well and um, on the feet I love this gradual transition of the uh, sort of basic material the Mars-esque style kind of dirt on the legs as well just to show a bit of integration between the model and also the base, which is really nice. So that's just him. Next gem we'll pull forward is the guy with the shotgun. Again, really, really cool. Looks like he's advancing very stoically forward there. And uh, again, all the little details, all fully highlighted and picked out. Now, the, the weathering and scratching that's been done on the armor is a cool feature that we've done just to really give Ceramite its realistic look of where it chips and, and sort of takes damage as per impact hit it as well. Simon's concentrated it and made it look very random across all the models, which is really nice. Uh, but just our client requested a weathered armor scheme and that's what we've done. Again, you've got the lovely complimentary red of the guns and also the lenses as well with the green of them or some of the other screens as well which is really cool um next up we've got the veteran with the xenophase blade and also a combi plasma with a nice subtle glow on it it's not too overpowering or not too much it is glowing but it's not like he's at a disco which is uh, really nice uh, and again overall very commanding pose obviously i assume he's the squad leader but really really cool we've got that lovely brush blended xenophase blade there with those crisp edges on it as well which is really nice um all the purity seals with the text and everything fully done and all the little gems and lenses again as you can see across the model complete consistency from model to model uh, as across this small commission which is lovely so that's just him We'll have a look at this gentleman at the back here with the Storm Shield. Again, really cool model. Um, a little bit of chips and scratches there on the Storm Shield as well. I got that lovely lightning on the sword and just blended just sort of power and darker points on there, which is really nice. Obviously, all the bright metal work on the silver aspects of the arms is all highlighted there. And again, just moving around, you can see the lovely amounts of chipping and scratching across this model. Now, one little detail that I don't know if you're going to be able to see too well is if you look in the look in the back of the shield, there's an actually like a, a screen in there as well. And what Simon's done is he's gone in and painted that in a red glow and it's also got some green blips and contacts on there as well which is really really nice if i can just get the light to sort of show you can see that red screen but there's loads of little blips and bits and bobs of detail on there as well in just a complementary green to the red and um we do really take the consideration of how the war gear works when we're painting it just to make it look as realistic as possible and give your models that realism on the tabletop and also for when you're displaying them uh, so that's just him uh, and then finally we'll have a look at the chat with the frag cannon again dangerous gun really cool dude and he's just moving forward here looking for his next victim but you've got an awesome amount of detail on him as well the same across all these veterans all the little bits and bobs of detail work fully picked out he's a, an imperial fist there or an appropriate chapter with a fist symbol there um, but then moving around you've got this uh, all the areas of detail fully highlighted fully picked out with a lovely lovely amount of weathering across the model but those lenses all fully picked out there and every aspect of detail fully painted as well which is really really nice so that's just this awesome custom death watch scheme uh, I know again as I said Simon had a great time working on this project and uh, stick around we're back to have a look at it in a little bit more detail and talk about how you could possibly get a kill team in your own through us speak to you guys back in a sec 
So thanks for checking the video out guys, really appreciate it ever so much. And I do hope you've liked this custom Death Watch kill team, uh, really cool bone scheme that's on them. And I hope you like looking at all the models in more detail in the main section of the video. Uh, as always, if you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, then very simply, all you need to do is head to the description of this video. We, in that description is linked our website and uh, you just click on the link, it takes you to the contact form, select the drop down options on that contact form that are relevant to you and include in the message section, a list of models in our format that's shown on the website uh, and fire that off to us to get the process started. Um, as always, please go give us a like and follow respectively on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. They're all linked also in the description of this video. You can keep up to date with all different projects and things that we post regularly on a daily basis. And finally, while you're here on YouTube, do us a big favour and firstly obviously subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the videos that we put up. If you hit the bell icon, you will be notified when new projects and videos do go up. And also drop some comments below. Do you play Kill Team? If so, what is your Kill Team and what faction do you play? Um, hope to speak to you guys in the comments and see you guys on the next video. Thank you very much for checking it out. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.